so I'm just starting off with a 6 and 7 makeup look and I'm starting off with my Aveeno moisturizer just to moisturize your face because you just want it to look nice for when you go to school. Using your favorite concealer, mine is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Make sure you get all over your acne that could be on your face and just make sure you cover that up because we're not using foundation for this look. Now using any eye brightener, I'm using the Neutrogena Eye Brightening Pen and make sure you put this under your eyes because you don't want to go to school with those dark circles if you've been staying up all night studying. Since we're skipping using foundation because you're just in 6th and 7th grade, I like just to use a powder because you still can get a pretty good coverage. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder and it's just a box powder and I have it in Classic Ivory and I think it looks really good and it really fits my skin tone and just make sure you get this all over your face and to clear and cover up any acne that did, the concealer did not get for you. First up your eyes, I like using a the Maybelline Color Tattoo. This is in Barely Branded and these are awesome because you don't need a primer and you don't have to worry about smudging all day if you are rubbing your eyes or anything and it's just really convenient for school and it doesn't take long even though the look looks like you did put a lot of eyeshadow on when you really didn't. Back then I swore I was gonna marry him someday but I so I'm just skipping eyeliner because I don't think it is something 6th and 7th grade should really get into but I'm using the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara because it really can still make your eyes look really bold without adding that major black eyeliner but if you, do, if you guys do like eyeliner go ahead and put it on. So that is the complete eye look. Now I am going back with my Fit Me Concealer because I didn't get over some of the blemishes that are still there so I'm just covering those up to make sure they won't be that visible to friends or anything because you don't really want your acne to be shown. You want those rosy cheeks so I'm just using a really convenient dollar blush I think and it is the elf in tickle pink and I'm using my same powder brush and I am just putting this on my cheeks but if you put too much on don't worry about getting out your makeup wipes just grab more of your box powder and cover it up though you can still see the blush you had on that's just a little trick Since your smile is so important and is what people usually tend to look towards, I like to use just chapstick because you don't want those chap lips and people are trying to look at your gorgeous smile I bet you guys have. And also make sure you use a lip gloss just to get a little color to your lips to make them just stand out and look great. And this one's really good because it lasts up to 6 hours so you really won't have to apply it that much throughout the day unless you're at gym or something and that is the end of this look i hope you guys like it it's really convenient and if you guys are in a hurry it's only five minutes really so it's really convenient yay you guys are eighth graders almost one more year to high school so get excited but i'm just gonna start off this with Vino moisturizer because you want a soft face and you want to keep it healthy especially during the fall and winter when it gets really dry just make sure you blend that all out before you put on your foundation
use your favorite foundation, but I really recommend the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation because it's a primer, concealer, and foundation in one, so you can forget about using a separate primer to keep your makeup on all day, and I like to use a beauty blender to blend this out, otherwise, because I really don't like to get my hands all icky. Now just whip out your favorite concealer. Mine is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Make sure you get that all over your blemishes because you know those boys are going to be looking at you and they don't want to look at a big zit on your face. So I like to use the concealer because it's just really awesome and it just completely uses your face look. So trust me, take my advice. In a minute, you guys know you stay up late, I stay up late, so I like to use my Neutrogena Eye Brightening Pen because it just makes your eyes look like you're not asleep and you're awake and so people want to talk to you because you don't want to look all scary and like you're half asleep. your favorite powder I like the fit me made lean powder and make sure you get a nice powder brush and you put that all over your face just to finish off the look to get that matte look and you're set for the day for your face so spool it up one more stupid love song I'll be sick you turned your back on tomorrow but you forgot yesterday I gave you my love to borrow Looking at my skin now, I am not tan at all, so I like to use a bronzer to get that fake looking tan, but also makes your face look so alive and glowy in the morning. Time for that eyeshadow base. I like to use the NYX eyeshadow base, and it's a white base, and it really works amazing. It lasts all day, so I really recommend it, and it's only like $4 instead of like an expensive eyelid primer. Now using a good drugstore palette, I'm using my favorite, which is Maybelline kind of quad, and it's in chai latte, and I am using the darkish kind of goldy shade, and I'm just putting that all over my lid, but then with a crease brush, I am just going to grab a lighter brown and put that in my crease, and then you make sure that you blend it out so you don't have harsh kind of lines or fallouts during the day. your favorite mascara where you get a lot of volume and mine is the Maybelline Rocket Mascara and just use it to get bold long lashes and I just like to use one for school so you don't overwhelm your lashes. Your eyes are done so now take your favorite blush and I really like the Maybelline Fit Me blushes and I love that line of the Ma for Maybelline and just use a powder brush and put that all over your cheeks and again if you do have a little excess blush make sure you fill it in with your favorite powder that you used beforehand so you can still see the blush but make sure you can cover it up. Now take your favorite type of lip uh, gloss stick whatever and I like using the smoochies by CoverGirl because these are amazing and they're really like 
hydrating for your lips and if you want a little bit more glossy look take your favorite lip gloss and I like using these Revlon super lustrous ones because it's exactly what they're called they are super lustrous and they look amazing and that is the finished eighth grade look I hope you guys like this and I hope you guys have a great school year and just good luck don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Love you guys.